In this video, I will demonstrate how Kabam can be used to identify any invalid transaction. Why do we do this? Well, if the financial and operational controls have not worked properly, this could lead to financial loss. Let's take a scenario. I've got Bob who joins the company on the 1st of December and he gets paid on the 25th of December, he gets his paycheck, everybody's happy. He goes into the next month, gets to the 25th of January and he gets his paycheck and uh, everyone's happy again. But now, in the meantime, Bob has resigned. So he's resigned after the 31st of January and for whatever reason, a payroll payment goes through on the 25th of February. It shouldn't have gone to him. He's left the organization. So Kabam will identify that as an invalid transaction. Let's have a look at this in a little bit more detail. In front of me, I've got a payroll file, which has all the payroll records that have been run uh, to pay uh, employees. And there's the amount. And I've got a column that shows the resignation date as well. So I'd expect the transaction date to fall within the resignation date. So what I'm going to do is go to Kabam and set up if an employee has resigned, they should not be paid their salary. Simple as that. And I tell it to look at the transaction date in that file and it must be less than the resignation date. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to save that, return to my dashboard, go to hire to retire, uh, run the payroll. And there we have it. If an employee has resigned, they should not have been paid their salary. There's three failures there, a pass rate of 62%. So if we go in there, we'll see the three employees, exactly which date they were paid. And you'll see that it shows the amount as well. So we've got the employee ID. And you can see there's a 12,000, a 15,000, and a 12,000 uh, value that is invalid.